Hello, Guy Solis here. Uh, today is my Sunday shave. Sounds like mom's here already. Uh, anyway, uh, better hurry up, man. Oh, I don't like a lousy shave on a boy. So, anyway, all right, let's get this ball rolling. All right, today I'm going to try out the cream L cream for the pre-shave. This is a tip I got from Mr. Goldstein, so I have yet to put it to the test and see how well it works. I'm sure, it works fine. Uh, Goldstein is, sounds like a pretty cool guy. Uh, I like people that harass me a little bit. I don't mind that at all, as long as they can take me and harass a little bit themselves. But, uh, I bought this stuff a while back. <clears throat> probably, I should probably should have checked it because it's been about a year since I've used that. So I have my. I'm still on the coffee tea. It's not the best coffee, but I'm not going to run 30 miles away to get uh, Juan Pablo's coffee, uh, which is my favorite. Thought they'd be selling it at the Costco here, but whatever. I guess they don't listen to customers. So today I'm going to be using <clears throat> the two band badger brush I got from Artist Shaving a while back. This is a really nice brush. It's been a while since I've used it. Uh, I'm also going to be using uh, the gift James Jam Jam and GI James sent over the. Uh, Mile High Menthol, which is a great thing. Great, 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 great soap. Uh, so I pick up tips from people. Uh, one of them was the, was the Cream O' Cream from Goldstein. The other tip I got was from uh, uh, Anthony the Stallion, uh, who uses the bloom water just to wet himself. And this may not be the big tip, but uh, boy, watching that guy shave is like you know, art in progress, I think. So I need some in bloom water. I can be just like Anthony. Uh, anyway, uh, enjoy his videos. Now the next tip I got was a fundamental tip uh, coming from Jam and G.I. James. He tells me, slow down. I've got to tell you, I am one impatient bastard sometimes, or anxious, or maybe I've just had a little too much java for my own good. But today I'm going to really try to slow it down because I'm going to be shaving with, you guessed it, a freshly honed, freshly stropped, Phil Harmonica. And this is a pretty beefy blade. Uh, honed up real sweet. Had a little nick there. I had to take it down with a 220 and then the 400. And I put it on my stones and came out just perfect. But uh, it's a nice edge on this. So I'm going to be slowing down because last time I tried to shave with it, it's a little, quite a bit different than what I was used to. Uh, so, anyway, uh, I'm going to finish up with the with the fine since my mother really likes that aftershave. And I can't wait to show her that razor I got. Anything from Spain makes her ears perk up. So. I think I might have too much, but this is, um, I don't know how to describe this, the smell of this soap. kind of smells like, like uh, lemon a little bit, but also kind of smells like baby puke. <laughs> no offense, anyone who's watching, but uh, all right, let's lather up. Mile high menthol. And uh, 
my mom's going to be excited to see that soap too. She's a, a diehard. She's she, she she's been in Denver since 1940. Uh, my grandparents came to uh, Denver from New Mexico, El Cerrito, New Mexico. If you're interested in reading about it at all, you could look at the uh, at a book called. Nine Generations in a Spanish Village, and it talks all about the Pecos Valley and the people that are there, all Spaniards and Indians too, uh, <clears throat> that have mixed with the family. And uh, my mother's, uh, uh, my mother's parents, grandparents, great grandparents, and all that are featured in the part of the book, not all the book, but part of the book. It's called the Quintanas, Q-U-I-N-T-A-N-A-S, but you should check it out. It's an interesting read. If you like southwestern history, uh, it's called Nine Generations in a Spanish Village. Anyway, I can smell this menthol from here. Ah, oh, man. Remember the last time I rinsed off after using this, it was like throwing ice water. Well, this badge of brush has got a different feel to the synthetic that I've been using all the time. It's a little scratchy, which is good. Oh, look at Katie's bubble skull. Razor hunting yesterday, my wife found a guy who had a whole case of them. All junk. Did I buy any? No, they're all junk. And he sure wanted a pretty penny for them. Never seen a guy with a razor that is all pitted out from rust, scales broken, chip off the end, want 65 bucks for it. That's ridiculous. All right, here we go. Fillet on the hit on the billy. Here we go. Look at that. I think I decided what scales I'm going to put on this. Uh, Jam and GI James uh, uh, picked out a pair of scales, uh, the wood anyway. That, and I'm going to uh, happily exchange uh, these scales. So let's get started, huh? Certainly shaves like a dream. Oh man, it's like fucking orgasmic. Orgasmic. Okay, last time I shaved off my beard there. Well, there's hairs all over this thing. My wife don't tell my mom <clears throat> that I'm in here making a video. She'll come in here and put in her two cents. <sighs> Strong Spanish women, you gotta have them. Keep us rowdy Spanish boys at bay. <laughs> Now, 
I don't know how many people seen uh, <clears throat> seen my uh, video I just put out called Cat Scratch Fever. That was about a razor that uh, it was at 11 sixteenths the Boker, and it was a round tip. And that thing was so excellent. I got that thing and I did some stuff to it and I and I honed it and honed so perfectly well. When I came in here and I tested with it, I vowed to shave my whole face with it later on and I never did. And one reason is because it was so perfect that I knew the next person who was going to get that razor was going to really appreciate it. And the guy that I sold it to uh, and I talked about him in that video, Cat Scratch Fever. Uh, he wrote me two times. <clears throat> he did two different shaves with it. And he wrote me two times. And he just loved that razor. So I'm glad about that. And uh, Call my mom in here. I don't think she's ever seen a shave with a straight razor. Hey, mom. Mom, Hi. come here, I want to show you something. Where are you? <sighs> I'm in here. I'm doing a shave video. You are. <sighs> How are you? I missed you. I haven't seen you in a long time. Yeah. You know, I'm doing a shave video. This is uh, Katie's Bubbles. Uh, this guy I know on on the internet, uh, he used to live in Denver, and he had a great part in making of this soap. It's called Mile High Madness. And you can see the Mile High Stadium and the mountains in the background. Oh yeah. And open up and smell. It's like a it's like a splash of ice water thrown on your face. It's menthol. Oh wow. Smell good. Uh huh. And then uh, you have to be a chemist, don't you? Yeah. And then this right here is my new razor. Here, feel how heavy it is. Don't cut yourself. Mm -hmm. It's a Spanish made razor. It's a really, this is like the top of the line razor right here. It shaves so well uh, that uh, I'll probably just keep this one. Because I don't have any really good razors. Like this is a really good razor. Well, so, when, when you went to your dad's stuff, did you find any razors there? No. Because he had some. Oh, he did? Uh -huh. I didn't see any. And is that what you're putting in there? What? The, the, this stuff. That, yeah, go, that menthol goes in the bowl. So how's your drive down? It was nice. It's starting to rain. Is it? Yeah. Drops here and there. This is a nice razor though. It's really different because it's heavy it's compared to this one here. You can look at the difference. Oh yeah. So it's a lot different. Is that stainless steel or sterling silver? Oh this is this is just a steel. It's not it's not stainless. So see so I don't want to shave.
Boy, that's a skill, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Say Floyd got hit by another red tailed hawk? He did. Mm -hmm. What, um, when was this? Not long ago, but he was up in the tree and one just hit him. Flew against, flew at, right at him, huh? Mm -hmm. Was it deliberate or? Mm -hmm. He was fighting for his territory. Mm -hmm. Knock him out of the tree. Oh, wow. Geez, I'm standing and my back isn't hurting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did. it hasn't hurt all day. But I'm, I'm going to the doctor to get my back moved down. Oh, I, I can't deal with my aching back anymore. Oh, what's wrong with it? It just hurts all the time. You don't know what's wrong with it? She she thinks I have arthritis on it, but I, I don't I don't know. You gotta get in there and get him to look at it. Well, I just want her to do something with it, even if I have to have surgery. Well, I've had back surgery, it's not that bad. Did it help any? Yeah. But mine was different than yours. All right, here's a test, test shave, gentlemen. Are you going to do it all over? No, oh, it's smooth. No reason to shave again. So, anyway. All right, let's throw some cold water on my face. What is it? It's a ring. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, I saw you. Oh, my stomach just did a flip flop. Look at that. I know it. You mm. remember the saw? Yeah. I'll show you the saw. Oh, my stomach just did a flip flop. I don't think there's any flesh on it. What hospital did you go to? Oh, Lutheran. The one on, what is it? 38th. Sheridan? 38th and Watchworth. All right, let me throw on a little bit of my magic potion. This is the store brand astringent, 25% alcohol cut with 50% witch hazel and a nice squirt of the aloe vera gel. I like. You have beautiful skin. I hate you. No wrinkles, no nothing. Uh, not yet. Doing good for 55, huh? You're not 55. 54, almost 55. Yeah. I'm going to finish off with the fine platinum as promised. Smell that. Let me let you smell it after I put it on. It smells good. I smelled it. in every minute. All right. Uh, all right. This is Guy Solis Are you signing off. Thank you. 
after oh, using that fiddle harmonic. Oh, you smell like a wet dog. I had that dog for 10 years, and for 10 years my mom calls that dog a she when it's a male. Uh, but uh, that's cool. So you guys got to meet my mom, so. Okay, I'm out of here, man. I got things to do, and so do you. Later.